so it's me a little small boy in some sense so i have this word to give us today you know it is not what your enemies say about you that limit you uh, sometimes it's not what they talk about or how they hurt you or what they do behind you that truly do what uh, bring you down or limit your greatness or limit your success no it is it is it is that you believe them you know what i'm saying so most time when they speak negative words to us meet negative you know thought tell us that we can't make it we can't succeed we are this we are that that is not what really affect us that is not what really bring us down when they said you can't succeed it is it simply means they are telling you you are you are going to be successful you know it's just like if you are toasting a lady and the lady will be running and you will be pursuing her and the more you pursue her the more you chase her the more she will run and if you turn your back you don't respond to her messages that is when she will start to chase you in other words the moment you start to follow the word that is when they will do what they will f they will do what they will start to do what it will start to operate but the moment you back them they talk it's just like when a dog is barking crack 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 you keep silent he will back 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 and do what and leave it's the same thing like a baby if you have a children at home who are always you know uh, who or do used to cry you 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 pity for them you know you you pepper them like the way my my in my place you pepper them you know you you take you take care of them too much you spoil them easily but when a child is growing up like the way i was being trained he or she messed up you know that she is she or he is strong or she is strong he messed up you beat her yes either you you do what you 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 touch her small or you do this so when she grew up she will know that this is what i have done when i was a kid that might that make my dad and my mom to beat me and they will repeat that when they become adult but the moment they start to grow up and you give them that privilege to do whatsoever they like and they believe that what they are doing is right because you have not teach them the way even the bible says train up a child in the way he should grow that means you need to understand that what they say to you does not matter and that can never limit the greatness in you yes the moment they tell you that you are a failure it simply means indirectly they are telling you that you are a winner but they just want you to believe what they are saying before it will operate so what they say that does not limit you it is what you believe it is just that you believe what they have said about you so when the enemies try to pull you down that can perfectly work until you do what you give that rule until you believe what they have said so you can be anything you ought you or you want to be in life if you refuse to do or to believe what they are saying about you because one as a chosen you are too big to be limited this is one of the greatest power that christ have given to us think about the life of joseph joseph was being rejected by his own blood being sold out despite of everything he gone through and yet nothing was able to do or to limit him because he did not believe that sowing him out or betraying him will limit what god has for him if you, if you look at the life of esther when her man decided to do or betray esther by digging a pit try trying to do or to bury them which he gives them information that make esther to know that there's someone after their own life and they and they believe that he is not able and he is not god and he can't do them nothing and they fast and pray would make God to intervene and listen God intervene that does not move God what move God is that they believe that a man cannot keep them one place that a man have no power to destroy them as long as he is not God so, 
So when the enemies, when people around you, when people around you tell you that you can't do it, you can't succeed, they are doing it in order for you to believe what they are saying. That is why you need to understand the world we are living. There are a lot of people who will, by all means, try to do or to reduce your what your greatness. Who will be, by all means try to do or to destroy that which God has given to you by polluting your mind to believe the fact that you are whom they have said you are. By what? By repeating the same thing. It can be your brothers, your sisters. Because the moment they realize that there's something in you that is bigger than what is in them, then they will try to limit that which is in you by polluting your mind and by regulating your mind to believe the fact that what they are saying about you is true. So the moment you start to believe that what they are saying about you is true, that is when the limitation starts from. So, no one on earth have power to limit you as a chosen. Believe me, no one on earth, because you are stronger than anything you can think of. Think about Anna, everything Anna gone through, and yes, he believe that God can still do it. Think about what uh, the man called Paul, Apostle Paul, everything he got through, and at the end he said, yes, I have run the race, I have finished the battle. And I'm waiting for the reward. What does that mean? This, the, no matter what people do or what they say or anything that they do, either charm or either manipulation, as long as you don't believe that what they are doing will come to pass, it will never come to pass. As long as you don't believe, it will never do what come to pass. You know what I'm saying? So no one has that power to limit you as a chosen. You are creative. You are unique and you are so powerful to be limited in one place. Remember blessed.